Patrick Hammer is going to be on my show coming up. Any opinions on that young weatherman? On Patrick? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes he confuses some of the square states. Yeah. You know, it's easy to get get those mixed up. No, Patrick does a great job. Very personable, good storyteller, uh, good scientist. Yeah. But who wins in a cage match, you or Patrick? Uh, Ken Barlow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ultimately, I suppose yeah. so. Yeah. All right. Most important question, Academy Award predictions. What's your best picture prediction, best actor? Oh, boy. Have you seen any movies lately? What's the last movie you went to? The last movie I went to? Fifty Shades of Ouch. <laughs> Did you uh, go to that? No, no I, have, I haven't seen it. I'm, wow. afra I'm afraid to. It's right here in Excelsior. I, I can't I know, believe it. I know, no, no, no. I'd, I'd be happy with one shade of gray. Yeah, just 50. Just, I can't even imagine 50 much. shades. That, Crazy I just talk. get exhausted. <laughs> um, boy, I don't know. What's the best movie you've seen this year? Are you got? Are you one of those guys? You got your home theater. You don't mingle with the people. You know what I really, really loved. And have you seen Whiplash? Oh yes. I, I oh, yes. really adored Whiplash. I, I went in with low expectations, and I was just floored by that. Well, he is the lock, in my opinion. J.K. Simmons. Right. He's gonna win. Right. For, for best for supporting, best actor. Best for supporting. supporting actor. Yeah. That yeah, it was intense. Did you ever have a news director like that? <laughs> no, no, not quite that bad. Close. You know, I've had one like that. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that that's a must-see movie for for everybody. And the movie ending, the finale, still gives me chills. I know. Yes. All right, that's a good pick. And then lastly, weather-related. Should we be concerned about the East Coast? I mean, is this the is it just going to get more intense each winter that goes along? Well, no. I mean, the, the weather gets into ruts. Last year we had the polar vortex where weather systems stalled and you know three months of pain. This year, all the clippers, the harmless, relatively harmless clippers that come through Minnesota, strengthen off the coast of New England and just wallop Boston and New England. Water temperatures, I've seen 10, 15, 20 degrees warmer than average just off the coast of Cape Cod. So there's really warm water. You've got sub-zero air moving in. Snow-making recipe. And these clippers mutate into these huge coastal storms, which throw a fire hose of moisture. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, every winter is unique and different. But we're going to be seeing heavier winter snows, especially along the coast. And, you know, we're seeing heavier rains in the summer months here in the Midwest. I love, I saw today that Nashville was all freaking out because they may go below zero. <laughs> really, Nashville? You know. They were in tears in Nashville. Misery. Listen to us. It's below zero right now. We're having fun. Yeah, yeah. misery loves company. It's minus two. It feels great. I don't know. You know, the wind isn't blowing, the sun is out, you know, minus two isn't that bad. Well, well do you want to go dance? You know, only if it's a slow dance, Rusty. All right, we'll wait one out then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>